This is Joe Delio from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. In today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Application Command Center, known as the ACC. This video is designed to help you better understand how to use the ACC on PanOS version 5.0, 5.1, which is for Panorama, 6.0, and 6.1. The ACC interface was updated in 7.0, but I will cover that in a future tutorial. Let's look at the parts of the Application Command Center, how to get more information from the ACC inside of the web GUI. We will start with the Dashboard tab. Inside here, you can see the ACC risk factor off on to the right. This will show you the risk factor over the last 60 minutes based upon information inside of the ACC tab. This is the general threat temperature of the traffic. If you find it higher than normal, then you can use the main ACC to drill down and investigate what is causing the temperature to be higher than normal. If you'd like to see this and it's not being displayed on your dashboard, then it can be enabled from the dashboard, the widgets, the application, and the ACC risk factor here. The top application section you'll see off to the right you can move it anywhere you want, but you'll see it there. This widget actually displays the applications with the most sessions. The block size indicates the relative number of sessions. You can mouse over to view the number that you'll see here for the rank, sessions, bytes, threats, and risk totals. And the color indicates the security risk from green lowest to red highest. Click on an application to view its application information as well as a full breakdown of where that application has been inside the ACC page. This is a great way to see at a glance the applications in use. If you'd like to see this option and then you do not find it inside of your web GUI, it's in the same place for widgets and applications and top applications right there to re-enable that on your dashboard. Now let's move to the ACC tab itself. On the ACC tab, you will see many different sections in here. You're going to have the time sort by and top section. You're going to have the application, URL filtering, threat prevention, data filtering, and then hit matches. At the top here, if you had this in multi-visus, right about here you would have the different vSYSes you could choose from as well as if this is in panorama there's a separate panorama data sources section that would be off to the right the top of the window this controls all the display options inside the acc you have the options for the time that will range from the last 15 minutes up until the last calendar month as a custom option here for the time options you can actually sort by sessions bytes and threats, as well as listing the number 5 to 500 for the top listing of whichever applications, URL filterings you're going to be displaying for each section. If you make any changes, you'll hit the green arrow to submit it. Uh, past that, you have an add filter option that allows you to choose between application source IP, etc., etc., source, zone, risk, and URL category to type in where you would apply that and you will only apply everything that you see inside of the application command center for this specific filter. I have currently set it to the last seven days and you hit apply, submit. This just allows me to see more information uh, for demonstration of some of the features here. Also in the upper right hand corner you're going to find some of these specific log icons as well as the risk factor again here just as an overview. Again, you're going to have shortcuts to traffic log, threat log, URL filtering, data filtering, and finally hit match log. And this would actually shortcut to the monitor in each one of those logs directly. Uh, instead of making a couple clicks, you can just do it one. Starting with the application section, this is the first section that you'll see. Uh, this section actually displays information organized according to the menu selection off to the right there. Information includes the number of sessions, the application name, the bytes, the threats, the risk, and then uh, the lists them out in order uh, which you wanted to order them by. You Again, you can sort by any one of these uh, sessions, bytes, threats to better see the information. As I just stated, you have options here. This lists the applications, but you can actually list just certain categories, subcategories, technology, and or risk is where it will actually you know, break it down to. 
which is nice to have. So as an example, if there was a lot of traffic, for example, we see MSRPC traffic has 129,000 sessions, 268 megabits of traffic, uh, and 1,000 threats, but we can go through that here in a second. If you click on MSRPC, it'll actually break this down. It'll pull up application information, uh, top application sources etc and you can really drill down it shows description information all information if it tunnels through other applications the applications it depends on it gives you the risk factor if it's widely used etc really really nice uh, inside of here again you can see the application information the sources with source and destination and how many megabytes breaks it all down really nicely top security zones, egress zones, ingress zones, etc. And then even through here, you could see how many different threat prevention showed up. And again, for everything you can click on to get more information to continue to drill down to be more specific on threat content names, applications names, etc. for whatever you want to do, which is really nice. You can clear this out by removing each of the filters and then you just click back on the ACC. Once you see Application Command Center there, you know you've reset your view uh, for what you're doing. Past the application area, scrolling down the next is URL filtering. Again, this is similar information with URL categories, URLs, blocked URLs, categories, and then just the blocked URLs you can actually just filter upon. You can see the categories and how many sessions and how many megabytes of data that was transferred there. Next we have threat prevention with again the same similar breakdown for every single one of these. You can break those to threats type spyware, spyware downloads, or just viruses. Uh, you have the data filtering section past that and again you can drill it down to content file types, types, and file names. Uh, last section is the hit matches and that section I don't have an example for, but you have the options for HIP objects and HIP profiles uh, to drill that down. And that's all information that comes from uh, Global Protect. I hope that this has helped you understand the Application Command Center better. That concludes this video tutorial. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And we welcome all feedback below, so please don't be shy.